But this is not about Cheryl Cole or Donna Dukes or who I'm going to vote for. This is about an effort to uh, almost lynch a person for political purposes. That's what, that's what this whole thing has been about today. Do you have a question, sir? Yes. The question is, why did you do that? Now, number two. <laughs> I'm not on the panel, sir, and uh, there are several candidates over here that have chosen to, to jump into this race. I was here all of this time, and then I haven't heard one word about the most important thing that's going to happen. This is for Representative Dukes. Um, you have been absent from most of the last two legislative regular sessions. You broke a public promise to the district. You are facing a multi-count indictment, and you have been time That's not one question. You have been fined for- making a for commentary. If you would like to ask me a question, yeah, I'm then asking the question. please Sorry. provide the question. Uh, so the question is, why should voters trust you? Why should voters trust me? Um, because the commentary that you just laid out is not true. I want to just clarify that was in my commentary. That in that question that you chose to take first is not true. People will say a lot of things when it comes down to campaigning when they would like to have the seat. I think for people to try and imply that I did not serve the district and have not served the district, it's almost an insult to the democratic principle. For 12 years, I have been on the Health and Human Services Subcommittee of Appropriations and I have fought for individuals to have health care, to have medical treatment, to get their place moved up on waiting lists when they've had catastrophic injuries. I had a catastrophic injury. And certain individuals have taken it as an opportunity to criticize when we claim to be the more empathetic and the more family-oriented party than the Republicans.